Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Meze Project. Today we have the celeriac. It's a root vegetable. Its season is winter, that's why we're doing it. We're gonna braise it with orange and orange juices, some carrots, some onions for the base of the flavor, and then we're gonna use a good glug of olive oil. So, to begin with, we're starting with slicing the top and the bottom of our celeriac. There you go. Cutting this. And then, following the sides, we're just gonna remove this shell. So you would have to work a bit fast when dealing with this while you're cutting. Just have a bowl of water available. Just squeeze a little bit of lemon juice and it will prevent it from oxidizing. And this should be careful about the flavors and use the orange to your advantage to flavor the dish a bit more to accompany the subtle sweet flavor of celeriac it will go really well so for this next to it i'm just gonna peel two carrots when cutting the carrots again you can improvise however you like, but the thing that you would have to be careful about is cutting everything to the same piece or according to how long they're gonna be cooked for. So if I was to braise this dish for, for more than three hours, four hours, if, if it was a hearty stew, it could be a vegetable stew as well, you would prefer to cut them fairly big chunks so that they don't lose their shape as you cook them for hours and hours. But this one, we're gonna braise the celeriac for probably 45 minutes. We don't need that big pieces. I'm just gonna slice them diagonally into another bowl. And let's move on to the foundation of our flavor, the onion. You don't need a really big onion in order to cook this dish. As I said, it's just gonna be the foundation. I will not dice the onion, rather I'm just gonna slice it. This together, just for the... They're not really raw and they release some of the flavors into the pan. And then we're gonna add the celeriac and we're just gonna braise it with the other liquids we have. To start with, I'm just gonna heat up a good glug of olive oil. So we heat it up, I'm on maximum heat just for this moment. I want this oil to heat up fairly quickly. And on a hot pan, always start with a hot pan, never with a cold pan, unless you're doing bacon or something. Okay, so I'm now reducing the heat. You need to hear that sizzle in the pan to know that you're actually sauteing it in a high temperature. Heat it up nice and good. Once they become translucent, add your celeriac, season it a little bit. So we have sauteed our onions and carrots, now it's time to add the celeriac. So I'm just gonna get them in nice and fast. And we'll probably realize that I would need a bigger pan. So this will happen in the kitchen a lot. Add a little bit of olive oil again. So for the cooking juice, we're gonna use freshly squeezed orange juice. Squeeze your own oranges, they will taste better. This is gonna be just enough to cover the base of the pan. As we're cooking it, it will start to evaporate with all the flavors and aromas. And then, once you take it off the heat, you'll see how it goes. Now you'll have to taste. I'm gonna squeeze a bit more lemon to balance the acidity. The orange you're using. For the braising, there's a little trick that I like to use. Get a piece of a parchment paper, something like this. Open it like this, it's fairly a square size. Fold it in half. We're gonna make a cartouche. Okay. 
fold it like this, fold it again, then fold it this way again, and again. Cut the middle, and then just measure your pen, then you're gonna cut it again. I can use a scissor for this, but right now I don't have it handy. Yeah. So we've been braising our celeriac for over 40-45 minutes. Now it's ready to check whether if it's cooked to the level that we like, so it's soft and tender. We're gonna taste the braising juices as well, so that in order to finally decide whether if we need more acidity, maybe a squeeze of lemon, a little bit of salt or sugar, depending on how do you like your taste. Let's move the cartouche. I can see that it has already changed its color as well. Perfect. So now I'm just gonna put this back on, close the lid and set it aside so that it cools off on its own. It will develop the flavors. And while I'm waiting for it, I'm just gonna pour myself a glass of raku as an appetizer to wait for the celeriac. Don't plate it before it cools down. Don't. Uh, we're gonna plate it. So here's our celeriac, cooled down. So we're just gonna get some good looking celeriac pieces. Add some of your carrots. Do not forget the beautiful raising juices with olive oil and orange juice, and last but not the least, I have some chopped parsley here. Scatter around, and voila. Here we have the orange juice braised celeriac with carrots. It's ready for you to enjoy with your racker. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the button subscribe over here. Thank What's you. I think it's there, it, it can be here. What's that? It can be here as well. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the button right here.